And welcome back to the next episode of Dave's Ink and L. Today we're going to get into a little detail about roughing Ink and L, more specific dynamic milling. Steve from Fullerton is back with us and he's going to work with Mike to go through some of the parameters and how you should approach dynamic milling in Ink and L. Fellas, take it away. All right, Steve, thanks for coming back and helping us out. So what we've been doing with our regular end mills that we have here is kind of running that normal machinist mentality of what we think sounds good, move it around. But we end up having these kind of end mills that don't hold up even half of a part. They're pretty much junk. Is there anything you could show us that we could change up or give us some more specific speeds and feeds on your end mill to make this last a little longer? Absolutely. What I brought in to show you today was at Fullerton's VMAT, launched in September. Very successful end mill line for us. Five flutes, specifically tailored to the aerospace alloys, stainlesses, stuff like that. Um, industry exclusive, the tool's designed to run full axial at between eight and 10% radial. Increased surface footages, um, standard to increase chip loads based on radial chip thinning. What we have here is radial relief. We have varied spacing and varied helix. That FC21 coating, which is a quad layer, next gen coating, protects the tool from abrasion and heat. Let's put them in, run them, see what we do. We can definitely overcome what you were doing before. All right. Uh, don't be afraid of it. It's just thinking now. It's nothing to be afraid of. All right. So Steve, why is it that these specific end mills cut so much better in Inconel than what we were using in the past? So it's really based on the design. With the full length of cut and the full axial depth, with the limited radial, you want to make sure that you have one tooth entering cut as one exit. We can vary the length of cuts, we can vary the tooth count, all to keep everything running smooth. You don't ever want the cutter to chop. That other tool you were running was four flutes, it's in cut, it's out of cut. It just, it raises havoc within the column and the machine. With this one being five flutes, you got one in, one out. It breaks the harmonics. It keeps everything running smooth, keeps the cutter engaged, gives you better part quality, surface finish, your roughing passes are more consistent, and your tool life's gonna go through the ceiling. So Steve, what is the biggest issue you see with what people are doing when they're starting to get into ink and I think really when Dave took you guys into that Inconel realm, he took you to the next level. People that go from the alloy world up until the aerospace alloys, they don't know what they're getting themselves into. You gotta throw conventional wisdom out. You need to gain efficiencies. You need to address the parts the right way. You need to address your tooling. You're not gonna run it with GP tooling. It's gonna be specifically designed, you know, stainless tools, coatings, the edge prep, the hone. Uh, the programming, right? You're gonna wanna make sure that you get into the right step overs, the right radial engagements, the right axial engagements. All these things are so much more important when you're running a high-end tool and a high-end alloy like the aerospace alloys. How's it going over here, fellas? Pretty good. I you still see an end mill intact. Yeah. Things must be uh, doing all right. We ran that one at his speeds and speeds, and then we ran another one at mine, and. His is yours, definitely better and his is holding up. Yours sucked and his was really well, good? Mine's not here anymore. Oh, no. so. awesome, yep. awesome. Well, this still looks good. Do you still see good improved tool life? And yep. how about the part itself? What do you think about it? The part looks good. The bottom of it, you can tell she's not good. dragging. The wall is nice and smooth. You can see it's cutting real nice. Nice, all right. It's optimistic. So your resume, is it back off indeed? I'm always looking for a new job. Oh, <laughs> all right, we're gonna, talk, we're gonna talk about this later. This can't be a thing. Steve, I appreciate you coming in, helping Thanks, out. Man. Got a lot of great information. It's good in mill. Encourage everybody to try it out. So thanks for watching this episode of Dave's Inconel. Stay tuned, we'll have more coming up next.